when a person in charge of preventing sexual assault in their ranks is himself arrested on charges of alleged sexual assault, clearly we have a strategy in place that is not working. Twice in just one week this has happened. And when any single victim of sexual assault is forced to salute her attacker, clearly our system is broken. Under our bill, serious crimes punishable by more than a year of confinement would be investigated and prosecuted by the JAG Corps, experts specifically trained on this issue who know how to carry out the investigation and take cases to trial. We make a sensible exemption for crimes that are uniquely of the military in nature, such as disobeying orders or going absent without leave. When we take these cases outside of the chain of command, we give the victims the basic confidence to know that justice will be had and that there will be accountability and transparency in their case. That's how we will be able to achieve the reforms that we think is needed that will ensure justice and fairness for every victim. Why is there less outrage when service women in particular suffer at the hands of their fellow servicemen than from the enemy. This epidemic of sexual abuse cannot stand. We must take these allegations seriously, and most of all, we must ensure that justice is swift and certain for the criminals who have perpetrated these crimes.